There's a lot of ways to be depressed. You can be depressed like Demeter when Persephone went into the underworld. You could be depressed like Hephaestus when he discovered Aphrodite, his wife, in bed with Ares, her lover. Those two manifestations of depression are totally different. Totally different. But we label it, and we medicate it, and we say it's nothing but. Now, I'm not a medical practitioner, and I refer people and have made use of medicine myself, both psychoactive and other. I'm not against it. I'm against saying once a medication is efficacious against a symptom, we've done our work. A friend of mine who is a psychiatrist is continuing to work but has to do it undercover because otherwise he'd be laughed out of the profession. To look at actually the biochemical functioning of antidepressant medications, because you know there are different families, and look at them and try to connect them to archetypal dynamics. It's very interesting. I don't have the ability to do that. Someone who's into the biochemistry can do that. But that's curious, you know, in the area of attention deficit disorder, where I have a little bit more um, biochemical knowledge, there are several different categories of medication to help ameliorate those symptoms. And they work differently, which would lead me to suggest that attention deficit disorder has different connections at the level of the collective unconscious. So this is really where the revolutionary aspect of Jungian psychology comes in for me. It's that the bottom line is the collective unconscious. That's why when people say, well, is this an archetypal dream? Well, of course it's an archetypal dream. For lunch, you had an archetypal sandwich. It's just that most of the time, we don't need to go there. Right? You know, unless you're one of those, you know, incredibly sophisticated Buddhist monks. You know, have you been to those workshops where you take the orange? No. And it's like three hours to end. Sometimes you just eat the goddamn orange. Okay? But that the orange can be disclosive of deeper realities of the universe, I have no doubt. It's just that that may not be the time to investigate. 